Ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to the next report of season four for the seasonal guild leaderboard. We like to follow along on the seasonal guild leaderboard that is in game. Uh, we have a dashboard now created. Uh, it's been created for a while uh, by Yomu, who's an amazing individual. He's co developer of Vital MMO. Uh, he's the admin for Simple MMO. And uh, he, he was very kind enough to create this dashboard for us. And if you, you know, I honestly, every we say this all the time, you see him in game, you see him in Discord, wave to him, say thank you for all that you do. Thank you for supporting CouchCat. We appreciate you. And if you want to support him, he also has a Simple Memo app hub, which is being updated, and he keeps sending little screenshots uh, to us, which is, they've been phenomenal. I will tell you that, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but it is a way to be able to play the game in a mobile simulator on your PC. Uh, and it makes chatting super easy compared to uh, using the chat feature in game. Uh, and there's Patreon tiers, so if you really like it, go ahead and check out his Patreon tiers and support him that way. But without further ado, let's get into our first tier. It's our Celestial tier. That is our top five guilds for this season, season four of the SGL. And first place, we have Babel. Second is TSL. Third is Rain Factory. Fourth being that still friendly two. And fifth place is Forest holding on there. And you know what? Nothing's really changed here. Uh, no surprise. Celestial tier is pretty much always solidified within the first like week to two weeks. And and, and then that's it. So uh, I don't know. I don't have much to say here. Excuse me. I don't have much to say here. What do you, what, what about you? Yeah, uh, just that they're earning... The earned EXP is very close. Uh, so Babel is the the one point forward here with twenty one mil or twenty one point almost twenty one point seven mil. TSL has thirteen point eight, almost thirteen point nine. Rain Factory is right behind them with thirteen point eight. Yep. Uh, so TSL and Rain Factory are like the closest contenders. But then you have Still Friendly Two, who like uh, Bob's was mentioning, they're juiced up right now. They are on the juice. Uh, and they are at 12.3 mil earned, so they're right behind two and three here. Uh, it's the forest with 6.7 mil earned, so they're you know nearly half as number four spot. So the forest right now could be right. threatened uh, by the next contender for celestial. So interesting stuff here in that regard. Otherwise, yep. same shit. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so if you remember now, 45.3 mil is what it takes to beat currently the fifth place position to move into the celestial tier let's see if anyone's anywhere close absolutely not absolutely not uh <laughs> legendary absolutely tier not. now is the sixth through tenth place positions we have some movement here so sixth place we have the friendly guild part of the friendly family then we have prostor moving to seventh place or they've been in seventh place close to six um eighth place was wolf blood moving up one ninth is murder the universe moving up one and 10th place is uh, Genesis moving down to. And we all know Genesis, <laughs> just like Step in the Shadows, is going to be that dead log on the ground that everyone's going to keep passing uh, as time goes on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Friendly conglomerate. They hate that. They want to. Didn't Sonny say, like, you yeah, have to call us yeah, the friendly they, family? They, they prefer friendly but like, family. But it's like you're a family of murderers, dude. Like, whatever. <laughs> but hey, they're like, family, and that's what's most important, okay? <laughs> you, like, you PvP everyone. Yeah, but they don't PvP their family. <laughs> Friendly Family Inc. There you go. Fr Friendly Family <laughs> LLC. <laughs> Yo, Bath is here. Welcome to the stream, Bath. Um, it sounds like I said Bath. <laughs> uh, yeah, so great for Wolfblood moving up. Great for Murder of the Universe, who's again, yep. you know, si silent Always. but deadly over there. Um, Prosor still looking strong. And Friendly, of course, looking strong with their whole yeah. like restructuring. Uh, but yeah, Genesis is going to be there for freaking ever, I think. It, nine, almost 20 mil yeah. EXP earned or total earned. Um, that's, a, that's a big hump for people uh, below Legendary. I still think it is. From last week, it was. Um, but in this tier, you know, Friendly is earning 8 mil. Prosper is earning 6.6. .6, Wolfblood earned 3.3. .3, Murder earned 3.1. Right so behind. right behind Wolfblood and Genesis yeah. with the zero. So there is competition yeah. here. If I was a bet, man, I would say that Genesis is going to be on the top 25 for the entire season. 
they'll probably be like 20 through 25 yeah. somewhere around there i don't foresee it coven will so we'll see this real quick but coven will definitely overtake them uh but now it's just up to golden arrows to earn enough to to see if they can push the you know genesis down a little yeah, bit farther yeah <laughs> yeah so genesis 19.3 mil is a number to beat moving to epic yep you're absolutely right that's our 11th through 15th place positions. Coven in the 11th place position. Golden Arrows in that 12th. Blackwater, old, old school, one of the OG guilds, in the 13th place position, moving up yeah. three spots, which means the Titans have fallen down one position in the 14th place. However, Dead Poet Society, that next up-and-coming PvE guild that's overtaken the PvE sphere with Genesis dropping down, moved up five positions in the 15th place. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah, insane. Yeah, insane games yeah, for absolutely. a guild like that. So, uh, but Coven, dude, Coven is a strong as hell guild. Um, just being in it and seeing the internal workings, number ten is mm-hmm. on the horizon. Um, Golden arrows, eh, as we talked about, they earn they earn enough exp to keep like the smaller guilds who are yeah. building momentum yeah. like below them but i don't know if that will hold throughout right. the majority of the season uh maybe near the end of spring but summer i don't think so uh, but the coven earned 4.2 mil golden arrows earned 3.7 blackwater which is sins guild earned 3.3 uh i feel like he brings blackwater back every once in a while so i wonder how long it's going to last um the Titans only earned 1.6, and Dead Poets, I mean, they did move five positions. They earned 4.4 mil in this push. So good for them. And my baby yeah, is, is going that insane. <laughs> I keep moving my e- my earphones yeah. over. I'm like, is that is that mine or is that his? Do I need to mute my do I need to mute myself? I'll mute myself until okay. I need to talk. But yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. All righty. Uh, moving on to the next tier here, we have the elite tier. Elite tiers are 16 through 20 place positions. Uh, we actually hold on. Let's go back real fast and see the number that has to be beat. 11.8 mil is the number to beat. Remember that. Um, but 16th place position is step and chill. Moving down two positions, getting kicked out of that tier. We have Indonesia moving up one, which is pretty amazing. Another another PVE guild. Uh, that's been contending pretty well. 18th place, Necromancer's Den dropping down that one position. 19th place, Zealoth Zenith Kitties back for more. Uh, good job to them. And Mark and Mod, of course, dropping down five positions. Another dead log in the road for everyone to hop over, uh, which is very unfortunate, but is the truth. They've fallen down hard, obviously. Uh, yeah, Zealoth Zenith Kitties has moved up a tier. Absolutely. Thank you, Nallery, uh, which is awesome. And if you look at it, there's a okay. Look at 19 through 16 because 20 doesn't count anymore. But there's only a 500, less than 500k experience a difference between 19 through and 16. Like th- there's a huge different. There's a huge, not a huge. There's a very small range uh, currently uh, between these guilds, and who knows what's going to happen in next week because it's 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 really close. Um, so over to you, Pison, if you'd like. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're still. <laughs> Kim just like all texts or all cat me. We're giving her time, ty- baby Tylenol. <laughs> Dude, yes, yes, we we would um, uh, do that after yeah. shots, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So interesting stuff with Step and Chill dropping two tiers. So Cord's here in chat. Rest in peace. Pour one out for Cord. Indonesia still chugging along, still moving up. Um, which you know, I kind of clickbaited like they're. Or they're unstoppable, you know, but they're really doing well for themselves so far. They've really pushed themselves, um, you know, far ahead into elite tier, which is a great Absolutely. place to be. I think once you get out of rare, rare tier hell, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> um, Necromancer's Den, I fucking called it. Did I not? I freaking called it. Like, the best thing you can do is wait for a guild like this just to burn out. So, uh, I, I'm pretty sure they're burning out to the bottom. Uh, ZZK, good for them. I mean, it's the the second generation of ZZK. Hopefully, there's no. I I'm going to have to delete the guild again. Yeah. Um, but 
you know, keep the momentum. Do the thing. Do the thing. So, and then mark them on. Unfortunate. But their body is here. Zone. Nine mil. Nine mil. And we thought 20 mil is a hurdle. Nine mil can be a pain yeah. in the ass oh, for absolutely. some guilds. Absolutely. So. Um, but yeah, 9.4 mil is the number to beat for the rare tier. And, and TPC is mm-hmm. kind of close. But rare tier, 21 through 25 place positions. 21 being TPC getting kicked down uh, tier into the rare tier. 22 is nice to say ye. Sitting just just perfect there. Wolf showing some progress and moving up one. But that means Nightmare Mats has dropped down to the 24th place position. And finally we have Murder of Crows barely holding on. So, and being that gatekeeper for 25 with that 5.1 mil. Um, so eh, yeah. not much movement here. No, but this is actually, um, for, like, this is high EXP, like, in total That's true. for that is guilds true. down here. I think for, for early true. on in a season, yeah, this is, like, a whole new standard. Like, Couch Cat's going to need to level up, uh, in, you know, for, like, a year to come back. <laughs> but, like, this is great EXP earned so far by yeah. the rare yeah. guilds. Um. You know, unfortunately, TBC is, you know, being pushed down to rare tier once again uh, because they yeah. had a resurgence, a temporary resurgence so far. Uh, but they're still, like, very active. They still have a lot of members in their guild. Um, so we'll see what happens with them. Didn't expect to see Yi to fall so far after being, you know, at the top of Yeah, maybe top Wobbly Cat has just a season down. ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe Wall. Yeah. We got to check on Wobbly Cat, but holy crap, number 22. Uh, Wolf, moving a, a position forward, not to be confused with the guy named Wolf, who's a homie, <laughs> but they're showing life. They dropped pretty significantly. Uh, Nightmare Rats as well. And then we have Murder of the Crows who are popping in, and they're, like you said, they're yep. they're, they're gatekeeping. Uh, but for Earned, uh, more interesting, 1.3 for TPC, 1.9 for Yi. So not completely Absolutely. in the toaster. Wolf earned almost three mil EXP. Impressive. So if they can keep that up, I don't know if they'll. They could be king of the rare tier, or they could leave rare tier altogether. Uh, Nightmare Rats earning just under one mil, and then Murder of Crows earning uh, seven hundred forty-five thousand. So um, yeah, there's there's there could be a shakeup and. You know, it really comes down to who's the top tier in uh, the tier two system, which yep. we're going to go. So, over. good lordy, excuse my yawn. Gosh, are you bored about tier two? I'm Jeez, bored about wheeze, the rare man. tier. Five point one mil is the number to beat, and we're not close. But uh, <laughs> that is that is what that is. Um, hope. So. There's Gorilla Wizards. Yeah. Dude, found them. <laughs> Tier two. It's where all the <laughs> older guilds have died off. <laughs> uh, That's not there's true. There's a, a sprinkling of newer guilds, right? Um, so, yeah, we see movement from Asgard moving up three good to them, but that means that Old Salts and House of Bamboozle are dropping. Anarchy's moved up, so awesome. Newbies has moved up, and then Blazing Beast is back in the top 35. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's it's definitely interesting to see. They're gonna have to put in a lot of work. Anyone in this on this tier two system, they're gonna have to put a lot of work in if they want to get in the top twenty five. Um, because mm-hmm. not only do they have to reach the amount that twenty top twenty five, I would say the number twenty five is doing, but then they also have to beat them at how much they're already producing. So, um, and look, actually, we could see that with the total earned. Oh might not be enough a shadow <laughs> shadow garden oh you probably just showed up that's right yeah. you're new guild so you're not going to show up uh for the amount of exp you earn that'll be next week but uh uh i think the only one on here based off of exp earned is is asgard that has the chance honestly mm-hmm. but uh yeah 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 hayden it's zero because you're brand new guild this week which means you have nothing to compare to uh, but don't worry. Uh, next week, if you continue to grind, you will show up with how much you've actually earned. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Vex, congrats. You're Blazing Beast, right? Yeah. Yep. Congrats, man. Yep. Yeah, dude, there's a lot. Of, there, I will say, though, there's a lot of red here. Yep. <laughs> there's a lot of red yep. here. But Asgard, 
Might have to look closely at Asgard here next week. They're a pretty good guild. But yeah, I would. Most of these names are like you know kind of new. Uh, Old salts, they're going to, have to die out. They're a body. But like House of Bamboozle Anarchy. Uh, I mean, newbies is not. It's not right. new. Um, but they're still hanging on. Close friend. <laughs> Uh, then we have like Blazing Beasts yeah. coming in. So there's a lot. There's a lot of old names here that either they need to kick it in the gear, like Girl of Wizards, to get yeah, out of sad. tier two, or uh, or there's just like a bunch of bodies that newer guilds are going to have to step right. over. Yeah. Um, so, but it's still Absolutely. interesting to watch. But without further ado, mm-hmm. that will conclude the this report of the seasonal guild leaderboard for the season four. Uh, we appreciate you coming to watch this and appreciate the VOD squad for watching the VOD later. Uh, so thank you very much.